lights went out, would you be scared? No? What well, I look like being scared of the dark, bro? I'm grown. <laughs> Phone rings. 1.39 a.m. Home calling. Hello? Tori, are you coming home yet? Oliver, why aren't you in bed? I was watching Doctor Who. You didn't watch the Weeping Angels episode, did you? Ollie, are you all right? Why did you call me? Oliver, are you there? Something's wrong with Charlie. My face must then do something very unusual because Michael gives me this look. This funny, terrified look. What has happened? What's happened, Oliver? What's Charlie done? Where is he? I can't get in the kitchen. Charlie shut the door and I can't open it. I can hear him. When are you coming home, Tori? I'm coming home right now. I hang up. Charlie? I knock on the door. Total silence. I attempt to get in, but he's blocked it with something. Open the door, Charles. I'm not joking. I'll break the door. No, you won't. His voice is dead, empty, but I'm relieved because he's alive. I turn the handle down and push with my whole body. Don't come in! He sounds panicked, which makes me panicked because Charlie is never panicked, and that is what makes him Charlie. Don't come in here, please! There's a clattering of things being frantically moved around. I keep heaving my body onto the door, and whatever is blocking it begins to move away. I make a gap large enough for me to slip inside, and I do. No, go away, leave me alone! I look at him. Get out! young man what is it you think you're doing with that child is this your kid no he's not but then shut up Steps make that much noise. Shh, see, I got you all figured out. Unlock the door, Joseph. Yeah. You locking doors, Joseph? You locking doors, Joseph? <laughs> oh, honey, man. I see a body with a booty, bitch. I see how to take a
underestimates me. But then they turn their back and I'm like, boo! <laughs>